you know it's funny i don't even know why death battle even did this matchup when they said they would rather do homelander no omni-man versus bardock because i'm gonna just say this right now omni-man is going to murder stomp homelander he also sold us the whole verse and i'm also rooting for home for omni-man i almost said homelander Omni-Man solos the verse of the boys. He murder stops Homelander. And Omni-Man, I'm rooting for him. So I'm going to say that Omni-Man's going to win. And then I might make an, another prediction. But I doubt that I'll change my mind. It's such a one-sided matchup. All right, let's just get to the... This right. episode of... It's Omni Man. Without looking at the analysis. Omni Man, the invincible champion from Planet Viltra. Homelander, nice. the world's greatest superhero. Brought to you by Vought International. Yep. Few heroes have stood the test of time with more aplomb They're than gonna the very examine first. The Superman. Okay. But what if absolute power did, in fact, corrupt absolutely? Hmm. Answer We're all screwed. He's yeah. Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And, and it's, it's our, our job, job to analyze their weapons, weapons armor, and skills to find out who would win a death, death battle. battle. Yep, it's. I saw the sneak peek for this. All right, Look, home. up in uh, the Omni sky, Man. it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Omni Man. <laughs> Had you go in there for a second, huh? Uh, not really. His name is in the title of the video. Well, you might be forgiven yep. for mistaking Nolan Grayson for his classic comic inspiration. He's even got that sexy mustache that he's not afraid to hide with terrible CGI. Born on the planet Viltrum, Nolan was sent to Earth to yeah, act as a super-powered alien defender and spread the enlightenment of his think. utopian <laughs> homeworld. And as his superhero alter ego Omni-Man, there was no one better suited to the task. He saved the world countless times, worked yes, alongside the did. Guardians of the Globe, and even married and had a son, Mark. Life couldn't be better until Mark inherited his dad's Viltrumite powers. That's when Mark found out that his dad was a stinking rat bastard liar! Turns out, Viltrum wasn't exactly the peaceful utopia Nolan promised. Peaceful yeah. in the sense that they culled half their population, murdering billions with their bare hands until only the strongest were left, yep. united by a common purpose. Mm -hmm. This Viltrumite empire then went on to conquer planet after planet in their home galaxy, murdering yeah. any who dared oppose them. So just Basically. scratch that whole peaceful part entirely. And turns out Omni-Man was here to do that same thing to Earth. Sorry, Mark. Your dad's a dick. Even worse, <laughs> he's easily the most powerful being on the entire planet. Yes, he Imagine is. Imagine combining the raw power of a Kryptonian and the bloodlust of a Saiyan. And what you get hey is basically a Viltrumite. Due to their uh -huh. unique DNA, Viltrumites are composed of smart atoms that they can manipulate to achieve superhuman feats, like holding their breath for weeks on end by drawing more energy from the oxygen inside them. Hmm. Kinda reminds me of that whole bioelectric aura thing Superman has. That's oh, basically how okay. comic writers bullshit a sciencey explanation for his powers. Yeah, that's Except basically how it happens. Atoms make even less sense. How can atomic structure be designated by your DNA? DNA is made of atoms. It's completely nonsensical biological hogwash that I cannot stand. Uh oh, comics fans, I'm calling this debunk. <laughs> Viltrumites can fly, withstand near burned. absolute zero temperatures, and even possess insane healing factors. You know, stuff like getting punched through the stomach, having your guts ripped out, or having your face smashed up in a tomato soup. I don't mean to exaggerate, but Viltrumites in this deal. series mm. get fucked up and somehow Sorry, survive. Man. However, too much trauma to the brain or heart can overtax their healing factors, and intense okay. heat can be especially damaging. Even the most powerful Viltrumites can be killed by extended baths in the spicy hot plasma of a star. And because of their abilities, their inner ear vestibular system is far more sensitive than a regular human. Okay. Intense sonic pressure will disrupt their fragile equilibrium and even prevent them from flying. Though, pushing themselves to their physical limits only ends up making them way stronger. And considering mm -hmm. Nolan has been alive and planet conquering for thousands of years, he is easily one of the toughest Viltrumites around. Yes, like, he other is. aliens attacking him will literally splatter their bodies against him. But mm -hmm. Mark didn't 
inherit everything from his dad. No, he did not. his alien genes, Mark was raised as a human with our weak, pathetic human values like love and compassion and yeah, that's, brutally murdering the shit out of everyone you see like a maniac. That's one way really you can put it. It made it difficult for Nolan to relate to his kid. Such as when mm -hmm. these aliens invaded Earth. Mark tried his best to minimize casualties and outsmart his numerically superior foes. Nolan, meanwhile, tackled their leader through the portal back to their homeworld, then spent some time systematically annihilating their planet for even daring to take Earth from him. Classic generational divide. Mm -hmm. Annihilate is underselling it. Nolan flew so fast that his body lit their planet's atmosphere on fire, creating oh. massive country-sized explosions with his own body as the projectile. Omni-Man has flown across galaxies in only a week, survived punching a hole through a planet, oh. and even deflected a meteor the size of Texas. Assuming that means oh the diameter of the oh meteor my is equal oh my God. to the distance from the top of the panhandle to the Gulf of Mexico, that would make it 1,300 kilometers oh wide. God. And weigh over 4.6 quintillion tons, oh. moving at re-entry speeds of over 11,000 meters per second, it had hit with enough energy to destroy the moon twice over. Oh my God. So Omni-Man is God. strong enough to slaughter those who consider oh, yeah. him an ally, the Guardians of yeah, the Globe, all to ensure as seamless a transition to the coming Viltrumite rule as possible. <laughs> Too bad for Nolan, up. it wouldn't be that easy, because he'd have to go through his son first. Mark was horrified by his father's treachery, spurred on by the reveal that Nolan only viewed his mother as a pet, a disposable broodmare. Invincible fought Omni-Man to save the planet. Yeah. And that's when Mark's real Viltrumite training began. Right. Get it? Training? Like the train? Yes, we, yeah, we get, get it. it. It was a good Boomstick. fun. Jesus. But if anything, it was Omni-Man that learned a lesson about humanity that day. He may have tried to turn Mark into a Viltrumite, but in reality, as Nolan fled Earth with tears in his eyes, Mark made his father human. <laughs> All right, let's go this to... This episode is sponsored by oh, Better Oh, God Out. damn it. Let's just get to the... Uh, just get to the... Get to Homelanders already. All right. All right. Let's see a Homelander. Welcome to Vought International, a multi-billion dollar American conglomerate whose number one products are the greatest superheroes on the right face now, of the earth. That's right. right. Superheroes are real, and they're big business. Mind. Imagine a Omni company that possesses a monopoly him. on popular culture, pumping out movies, TV shows, action figures, and video games constantly drowning the masses in a slurry of focus-tested nostalgia opium with no end in sight. Mm. Yeah, imagine! Within Vought's pantheon of gods among men is their premier super team, The Seven, and its yep. leader, Homelander. Homelander. He's got the looks, the charm, the Jesus, and most importantly, he's got the power to slaughter all of America's enemies at home and abroad. This guy mm. probably eats freedom and shits eagles. But that's but not real. Squeaky clean corporate sheen is only skin He's a fraud. Deep. Far from the big blue Boy Scout 41. he's marketed as, Homelander is probably the closest thing to Lucifer on Earth. Remember bad Home future Omni Man has like back centuries of experience. Now give him superpowers and media training. Vought's official story is that Homelander was an alien who landed here as a baby. A tale we're all familiar with. And one that's yeah, total another bullshit. One. Homie was made in a lab with Vought's proprietary super soldier serum, Compound V. And uh -huh. he was a complete success. Too much of a success. He was murdering rooms of terrified scientists before his umbilical cord was even cut. In yeah. the comics, Vought had to keep okay. remote-controlled yeah. hydrogen bombs strapped to him at all times because they had no idea what else could possibly kill him. As he mm. grew up, he was subjected to psychological conditioning to make him the greatest and most profitable hero of all time. Yep. It wasn't long before he debuted as Homelander, the ultimate defender of the American dream. Mm -hmm. Homelander possesses massively superhuman strength, speed, and durability. He can fly at hypersonic okay, the speeds, heat vision see through or walls the of X-ray vision, voice. and detect a person's emotional state from just the that sound might be of their a problem for Omni Man. But you but know Omni you're done for when he breaks out his heat Omni vision, Man, which I'll is strong enough to slice every, through crowds category. of people or split airplanes in half, or scream so loud that it shatters the eardrums of anyone around him. Those are innocent bystanders whose ears are exploding, by the way. Oh yeah, he totally botched this mission to stop a plane hijacking, so he forced each and everyone on board to die in the resulting crash yeah, so they I, wouldn't reveal yeah, his incompetence. That's why I well, hate Homelander's Homelander powers so may be real, but his heroism is a charade. Though he plays his part well, he cares nothing for the peons he's yeah, forced he never to protect. Cared. The only thing he treasures is, ironically, his public image. Turns out being raised as a lab experiment doesn't create a healthy person. 
But don't no, worry, he eventually cleaned up his act and started a totally 100% healthy sexual relationship with a fellow superhero who just happened to be an actual Nazi. Damn. Speaking of sex, which, you know how I'm always saying we should figure out how Superman and Lois uh, get busy? Well, forget oh, that, because Homelander proved that they can't. When his ejaculation <laughs> blew his partner to smithereens. What is even happening right Who'd now? Who proved that? Look, there's no way oh, to sugarcoat God. this. Considering a human's <laughs> load has much oh, less mass than a shotgun pellet, is... it would have to be moving significantly faster to oh, achieve God. the same kinetic energy. Over 1,500 meters per second, or 4.5 times faster than sound. That's right. Homelander can bust a nut faster than the speed of sound. Well, good night, everybody. Ooh, kind of sucks for humanity that, that they made this dude the most powerful being on the Man planet speed. and a psycho murderer. That's no exaggeration. I still Stonewall don't even think commented that Homelander has proven immune to every weapon known to mankind, no matter how powerful. Humanity he also threw a baseball into orbit. the ability to kill him. That'd include nuclear weapons Omni as powerful has as way the Tsar Bomb, which exploded with the energy of 50 megatons of TNT. Actually, it could have exploded with twice that, but the Soviets who created it were afraid it would irreversibly alter Earth's biosphere and end the world. That's right, we all almost died. And that's the kind mm. of shit Homelander can shrug off no problem. He's strong enough to throw a jet with one hand and fast enough to outspeed a C4 explosion. Despite being an emotionally stunted man-child, Homelander lifting is still surprisingly impressive, but that's not as impressive as lifting No, it probably wasn't too smart to piss off the of world's Texas. angriest limey, Billy Butcher. Yeah, turns out forcibly fathering a bastard son with someone else's wife is not a good idea. Never a good as idea. Unjustifiable as it is to Homelander. I hate Homelander so much. This gave him something he never had before: some small measure of control over his own life. Being born Vont's star pupil meant he was under their thumb from the I day hate he was both born. Of these characters. His superpowered I son hate was the first Homelander thing that was truly his, and might be his best option for a new beginning. Oh my! Or not. Wow. What else do I have to say? Like, okay, so Homelander, the only way he's going to win is is probably like Omni Man's weaknesses is like heat and like sound, and Homelander can exploit those weaknesses. Homelander could exploit Omni Man's weaknesses, but how is he going to do that when Omni Man outclasses? Homelander in pretty much every category. Usually, I would say that I would make a prediction in the next part, but I'm just gonna make my prediction now. Omni Man's going to murder stomp him. I'm rooting for Omni Man. Omni Man solos the whole verse. Omni Man's going to murder stomp Homelander. I'll see you in the next part. Anyways.